and liftoff. Six months after the most powerful telescope ever made launched into space. In a monumental breakthrough that is reshaping the way humanity perceives the cosmos, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has accomplished what was once thought to be purely speculative science fiction, the discovery of what appears to be an entirely separate universe. This astonishing revelation came during a deep field observation campaign aimed at studying the earliest epochs of galaxy formation. Instead of merely identifying new galaxies or clusters, Webb's instruments picked up an anomalous patch of space emitting signals so foreign, so completely unaccounted for by known physics, that the scientific community was compelled to explore a possibility that had long been relegated to the realm of theoretical musing. Another universe. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The discovery began when the telescope, while capturing infrared light from the distant reaches of space-time, recorded a signal pattern that defied every model currently in use. These signals did not match any known cosmic microwave background signatures, nor did they align with expectations for gravitational lensing, quasars, or any high-energy phenomena within our own universe. At first, the data appeared corrupted or misunderstood, but repeated observations confirmed the anomaly, an area in the farthest observable distance, beyond the epoch of reionization, producing structured yet unclassifiable emissions. This region, initially dismissed as a statistical outlier, showed the consistent presence of energy distributions and structural patterns that bore no resemblance to galactic formations known within our universe. The laws of physics as we understand them appeared subtly distorted in this segment of space. Gravitational behavior, light refraction, and even thermodynamic interactions within this area were anomalous. The readings indicated not just a set of stars or galaxies behaving unusually, but a complete system governed by a different fundamental framework. As more time and observational resources were dedicated to this phenomenon, it became increasingly clear that the James Webb Space Telescope was not just looking far back in time, but potentially sideways across the very fabric of existence. The data hinted at a separate continuum of reality, one that was not an extension of our known universe, but its own closed system. The implications were staggering. If the signals were indeed coming from a separate universe, then JWST had just expanded the boundaries of cosmological science beyond the Big Bang and into the realm of the multiverse. The idea of a multiverse, a collection of parallel or alternate universes, has long been a speculative extension of quantum mechanics and string theory, but it has never had observable empirical support. Until now, the Webb Telescope's infrared vision, far surpassing the capabilities of Hubble, allowed it to peer into a realm where such a thing could be not only detectable, but measurable. This potential multiverse signature was composed of what researchers began to call quantum interference cosmology, light waves whose interference patterns did not behave according to the traditional physics of our own space-time. What this meant in practice was that Webb may have glimpsed the edge of our universe where it touches, or perhaps brushes against, another entirely separate domain. The energy patterns resembled neither dark matter interactions nor gravitational lensing distortions. Instead, they displayed a cohesive and repeating arrangement, like a fingerprint from beyond known space. The more the team studied these arrangements, the more they realized these were not echoes of our own universe reflected back through warped space-time, but the coherent layout of structures formed under different laws altogether. Astronomers and physicists began to reconsider core cosmological assumptions. Our universe, long thought to be the entirety of existence, may be just one of many, each with different values for fundamental constants, each with its own timeline, physics, and perhaps even forms of life. What Webb detected might not just be another galaxy cluster or supervoid, but the visible edge of another universe that had, through some unknown process, become observable from our vantage point. This potential bridge or window between universes could be explained by quantum entanglement on a cosmic scale, or even brain collision models from higher dimensional theories. Some speculated that this was a momentary convergence, a cosmological alignment that allowed light from another universe to bleed through into ours, a sort of aperture in the cosmic fabric. Others proposed that this region may be a permanent interface, where universes coexist in a delicate equilibrium without ever truly merging. 
Theories once confined to thought experiments were now being re-examined in light of real data. The significance of this discovery goes beyond mere academic excitement. If confirmed, it could provide an unprecedented opportunity to study the conditions of another universe and compare them to our own. Understanding these fundamental differences could unlock answers to some of the most pressing questions in physics. Why does our universe have the physical constants it does? Why is there something rather than nothing? What caused the Big Bang? Answers that have long eluded scientists might now be approachable by studying this neighboring realm. This newfound universe did not merely show alternative galaxies, it presented a framework where even the concept of time appeared non-linear. The light patterns suggested that temporal flow in that universe did not align with our own. Some regions within the anomaly even seemed to oscillate in brightness rhythmically, as if time itself pulsed differently. The implications for theoretical physics were profound. If time and space could behave differently elsewhere, it meant that our own constructs of reality were more local than universal. The very scaffolding of physics, relativity, thermodynamics, quantum mechanics, might be one of many possible frameworks. The excitement among the scientific community was palpable. Observatories around the world began coordinating to follow up on Webb's findings using different wavelengths, hoping to verify the phenomenon from other perspectives. Radio telescopes, X-ray observatories, and neutrino detectors were brought into collaboration. Although none could match Webb's depth in the infrared spectrum, corroborating evidence began to emerge. Slight deviations in cosmic background radiation near the anomaly, unexplained energetic particles arriving in Earth's upper atmosphere, and peculiar gravitational wave patterns hinting at disturbances from outside our cosmological domain. The revelation also sparked a surge in theoretical exploration. Astrophysicists began to model how such a universe could exist adjacent to ours without violating conservation laws. Some models proposed multi-dimensional membranes where universes are like soap bubbles in a higher dimensional foam. Others revisited the notion of bubble universes forming in a cosmic inflation field where random quantum fluctuations could birth entire realms. These were no longer speculative diagrams on chalkboards. They were the blueprints for explaining observable reality. With each new observation, Webb continued to provide clearer, more detailed images of the anomaly. It became apparent that this new universe had its own form of galactic clustering, albeit arranged differently. Structures were not spiral or elliptical, but appeared webbed together in fractal-like geometries, possibly dictated by alternative gravitational behavior. Light from these structures was shifted not just by distance, but by some other process that altered its spectral signature. Time dilation, space curvature, or a completely foreign physical effect, no one could say for sure. As these images circulated, they captured the imagination of the world. The public was awestruck, and the media struggled to frame the discovery in terms that did justice to its scale. For many, this was a moment akin to Galileo's first telescope, but magnified by the realization that not only were we not at the center of the cosmos, we might not even be in the only cosmos. Religious, philosophical, and existential reflections naturally followed, but the core scientific endeavor remained focused to understand, measure, and eventually explain. Every day, more is learned from the data that pours in from Webb's instruments. As artificial intelligence systems comb through the vast informational payloads, they continue to find more inconsistencies with known universal behaviors, further supporting the idea that this is not just an unusual region within our own universe, but an interface with another. The scope of inquiry has shifted from is this real to how is this possible and what does it mean for us? What makes this even more exhilarating is the knowledge that we are only at the beginning. Webb, still in its early operational phase, is continuing to refine its focus and improve its exposure to the anomaly. With every image and measurement, we are building the first observational foundation for what may become the science of interuniversal cosmology. Instruments that may one day specifically target such anomalies are already in the planning stages, inspired by this singular moment of clarity afforded to us by Webb. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on James Webb finding another universe? What could this mean? We want to hear from you.
Thank you for watching and see you next time.